Hello everybody. Welcome back to my home here in East Tennessee. And it has been a while since I've done a video. I will give you some updates about that a little bit later in the video. And I wanted to share with you some new things. What's new in my collection today? It is the end of October. And I know you all are thinking, well, that's not your Catlia, Amy. <laughs> Well, this is from Patrick, Growing Orchids in Idaho. He sent me half of his No ID Cattleya. It blooms white with a pink lip. It's absolutely gorgeous. We did a swap of some plants. Um, he told me that he would send me this Cattleya if I would send him part of my Lawless Gloriana. So. I divided Lawless Gloriana. I know you all are going, wow, really? Because I've had that plant for 20 years. It was getting so large. And I looked at her one day and I thought, it is just time to divide you. And plus, I knew that um, Patrick would really enjoy that section of Gloriana. Uh, the day that my husband and I divided it. it was a very funny day it was like an angry jungle plant does not want to be divided it took me and my husband both to divide it but i got this plant in exchange i'm very very happy and patrick i appreciate your kindness uh, there were some things going on that patrick found out about and um, he said let me just go ahead and send this to you it was just very very kind of him and Patrick. I'm thrilled with this plant. As you see, there are two new canes, two new growths, along with, I think this is a new growth too as well. And this one has a flower sheath. So it's so beautiful. And I'm really, really excited. Now I have two Cattleyas to share with you all when they bloom. And he also gifted me this gorgeous little African violet. Um, it is most unusual. It has a double deep purple bloom. As you all know, purple is my favorite color. And um, I can't wait for this to bloom. This has grown, I don't know, four times in size in less than a month. It's grown so quickly. So it'll be blooming soon. And I'll be able to share that with you all as well. And here is what Lawless Gloriana looks like now. You would not know that I divided it. Uh, it has a lot of new root tips growing out from the new growths. Uh, I believe that I have four new canes growing right now off of this section. And the section that I sent him, I believe it had either two or three new growths. Um, and it was just time to divide this. It was either that or I was going to have to repot it in a bucket. I've actually seen people repot Cattleyas um, in laundry baskets. And I thought, oh dear, uh, let's just go ahead and divide this. Um, also, this was the only Lawless Gloriana known in existence. Um, I've had this one for 20 years and it's kind of an, a unique story. Um, I just happened upon it in a grocery store, and uh, Patrick did a lot of legwork on this and checked the background of this plant, and they said they had not propagated many of these. This was 20 years ago, mind you, and they didn't know of any that were in existence. This is from the nursery that this one was propagated in. So I thought, well, I need to go ahead and um, and share this plant. So. This is what mine looks like now. And of course, as you all know, it blooms every spring. It heralds spring for me every year. Can't wait to share that with you when it blooms. And look what else is new. This is my beautiful Dendrobium Salaya Shampoo. This is the most beautiful bloom cycle I've ever seen on this plant. Um, I placed this one in Orchiata Bark back in the spring, and she's done much better in bark than in moss. I have 
one dendrobium that does so well in moss and the other ones just don't seem to. Uh, so this one has just thrived. The bloom on this one is just gorgeous and I think this is such a charming little plant. What else is new is that I had a birthday last week, not, not last week, last month, and my daughter came with this gorgeous little fowl. As you all remember, I used to have a larger version of this one, and a friend of mine took that one, uh, just could not live without it, and I kept thinking, I'd love to have one, but one that's not so huge, and here came my daughter with this one, kind of like she read my mind. I kind of miss the yellow blooms, and I love this play of the yellow bloom with that hot magenta pink lip. It's just absolutely beautiful. So uh, my daughter knows what I like, and I think this is just a beautiful collection to a beautiful addition to my collection of fowls. I just think this is really, really pretty. I kind of have a hard time talking <laughs> when I look at it. You can tell the color combination is just gorgeous. And I'm going to give you a second to take in all of this beauty. This is my fowl, Purple Dust. Wow. Uh, she just finished blooming out. She just got through blooming. And now she's in full bloom. Again, this is a prolifically blooming plant. Um, the plant itself is huge. I have to put it in a very large um, ceramic vase to just, to just hold it. The pot is like about, um, I'd say it's about a 10 inch ceramic pot. It's huge and lots of leaves, lots of blooms and she grows in an eastern facing window here in my house. I, um, I had my husband trim all of the bushes back from the eastern and western facing windows so that I could place more orchids in front of them. Imagine that. So she loves this eastern facing window. And I'm also going to show you my African violets. Ah, absolutely beautiful. Um, the one on the left is frozen in time, and then the one, the, the pinkly purpley one, as Patrick put it, um, lots of peas there. That one is called Amour Elite. So that one is beautiful as well. The blooms on that one are just ruffly and pink and, and pretty. I love the leaves on frozen in time though. Uh, the variegation on those leaves is just absolutely beautiful. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you here. Okay, and here's a close-up of these. I did have them in my sunroom, and they did very well, and they bloomed very well, but I've noticed that these eastern-facing windows, they seem to bloom better here. So I'm just going to leave them here. They seem just very, very happy here. My grandmother always used to tell me, if something's not doing well, or if it's just kind of doing so-so, move it to a new location and see if you can't find a place where it's happy. And that's true. So this is their new home. And you all remember Big Red. This is Big Red now, even bigger than he was last year. He is loaded down with buds now. Uh, last week, he didn't have a single bud. Not at all. And then about three days ago, I came back here and all of a sudden, the buds were just popping out everywhere. So this is gonna be, wow, he is absolutely gigantic. So when he blooms, it's gonna be just spectacular. So I can't wait to share this with you when it blooms. And as I close this impromptu video, uh, I wanted to thank everyone who has reached out to me. Um, I know that you all noticed I hadn't done videos in the past uh, three months, and several of you reached out, and uh, you know that my mother had been suffering from dementia for about three years, and she passed away last month. Uh, when Patrick heard this, that's the reason why he sent this Catlia 
this cattleya is half of his of his original plant um and I, it just his kindness really ministered to me patrick that meant more to me than you know and i really appreciate your kindness i was talking to my nephew earlier today and when i told him about this he said wow that just shows a very kind and caring heart so I really appreciate it, Patrick. And to those of you who have sent me messages, uh, thank you so much. Uh, Sue, Tammy, Sharon, so many of you, more than I can even mention here. Uh, about a week after my mother passed away, or relocated to heaven is what I like to say, um, we lost a very dear friend in a motorcycle accident. He was my, um, he was my daughter's sensei in karate and he had taught her since she was four years old she called him her second daddy and so uh, he was killed in a motorcycle wreck and so um, that has been a great loss but you know god has been good to me and my family he is faithful he has shown his faithfulness to us so many times throughout the years and i would have lost heart had I not believed that I would see the goodness of God in the land of the living. So I appreciate you all so much. You all are my orchid family. Uh, it has given me a lot of joy to be able to share this video with you today. I have a lot of spikes that are spiking, growing, lots of really cool things that are happening in my collection that I'll be sharing with you all. And I would love to say the blessing over you all before we go. May the Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give to you and your loved ones his shalom peace. You all make it a great day. We'll see you next time.